in biomedical research data presentation inclusion of error bars in bar or line graphs is invariably required this video will show how to add error bars in bar or line graphs so here i have uh, included uh, five actually four uh, arbitrary data which includes control treatment one treatment two and treatment three so each study group has five samples and for all the samples in each study group I have added arbitrary data set in the observation column so these are the arbitrary data set which I will use to demonstrate how to add error bars in line or bar graphs so first uh, we have to calculate mean in each group so for the control we'll select the cell where we intend to put the mean value so mean we will calculate from the function tab here and if we click on the side at the arrow and we see there are several functions so we need to select average and then we select all the five values by holding the and dragging and select all the file five values and then we press enter and we get the mean for the control samples similarly we uh, get mean for other groups select average then drag and select all the five values and then hit enter and we do this for the treatment to enter and for the treatment 3 next we need to calculate standard deviation for each group so for standard deviation we click the function button and then we click more functions this will bring in the formula builder toolbox where we have all the functions of the Excel here we find standard deviation or STDEV in short and we double click on STDEV or standard deviation function so this will bring in the box then we select all the five values in each group and hit enter so the standard deviation for control is here and we repeat the process for the treatment 1, treatment 2 and treatment 3 groups. Hit enter and then we do it for the standard deviation for the treatment 2 group. Hit enter and we do it for the treatment 3 group. So now we have uh, standard deviation for all the groups. Next we have to calculate uh, square root of n which is the number of observation in each group. So here we have five observations in each group. So if we calculate square root of 5 for one group that will help in calculating the standard error of the mean for all the groups because n is same for all groups so if we double click on the sqrt or square root function in the toolbox this will give a box and then we enter the value 5 and hit enter so this is the square root of n for n is 1 n is equal to 5 
So now we close the formula builder toolbox. We don't need it anymore. And then we calculate standard error of the mean, which is calculated using the formula standard deviation divided by square root of n. So to do this, we select the cell where we want to put the SEM value for each group. And for the control, I select the cell and then go to the formula bar in Excel and put the cursor there and enter the equal sign. Then, as per formula, I select the standard deviation and then divide it by square root of n and then hit enter. And we do the same calculation for the treatment 1, treatment 2 and treatment 3. So for treatment 1, again I enter the equal sign select the standard deviation, divide it by the square root of n, and then enter. Repeat it for the treatment 2 group, and also for the treatment 3 group. So now we have SEM for all the groups. Now we need to plot the graph. So we'll bring all the values here. So mean and then SEM. So this is for control treat 1 treatment 2 treatment 3. So now we copy the mean values for plotting the graph. So what we do is we select the mean of control and then press and hold the command key in Mac or control key in PC and select all the four values and then press copy C. So once we copied all the four values, all the four mean values of control, treatment one, treatment two, and treatment three, then we paste the mean values here by pressing command V. Then we copy the four SEM values or standard error of the mean values by pressing and holding the command key and then selecting all four values and then command C to copy all four values and then paste using command V or control V all the four values here. Now to plot the graph, first the bar graph, we select the mean values and then go to chart in Excel maneuver and then we select the column and then select clustered column. So this gives us the bar graph. Just make it small so that I can accommodate another graph, the line graph. Now to add error bar, double click on any of the bar. So this will select all four bars and then it will bring up a dialog box with different options like line, fill, shadow, etc. But today I will focus on error bars. And once we select the error bar, we see a number of options display and end style. 
So for display, we can either have both plus and minus, or we can have plus only or minus only. So I select both. And then for the end style, there is no cap or cap. As cap looks better, I selected cap. And because we'll be entering custom values, that is standard error of the main, I select the custom and then click specify values. So to specify values, I select all four SCM values for the four bars in the positive box and then in the negative box also I fill in by selecting all four SEM values for all the four bars and then click OK and then here also I hit OK now as you can see the error bars has been added to all the four bars now for the line graph again we select the mean values go to line and I selected marked line so that all the four study groups are marked with the rectangle here so I bring the graph here make it small so So again, uh, like the bar graph, we double click on any of the four mark points. So this will select all the four data set. And again, bring in the dialog box with error bar options. So again, I select the both option and for end style I select cap and then custom click specify values and then select all the four SEM values in the positive box as well as in the negative box click OK OK then and as you can see the error bars has been added and because the error bars are uh, standard error of the mean are very small numbers compared to the mean values the error bars are visible only for the treatment 2 group where the error SEM value is little higher so we can see this on the other side we cannot see in the other three groups so this is how we add error bars in bar graph as well as in the line graph